right, friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. We're smiling really hard. You can't tell. (laughs) Anyways, um, this week we're doing part two of your food hot takes. Um, Those were a lot to handle last week. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Um, Because we'll film these and then I go edit them and I forget half the things we talked about. I saw the comment. I saw the comment on the YouTube video. That was like, Which it's one? me. I'm the girl who made the carrot sandwich. <laughs> so I and respect your said, honesty. And she said, and it was white bread. And she was white. I knew it. Listen, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> we already knew. With my eyes closed, I could have told you that. <laughs> uh, we did get a lot of people uh, find solar, finding solidarity in the fact that you eat ketchup with rice. I did see. I saw that too. Like a, and it, like a bazillion people said yes. And it yes, seems me like too. it has it has transcended uh, race, which is <laughs> shocking to me a little bit. But that's okay. That's a great thing. <laughs> yeah, we all. It's truly unmatched. If I'm being real, so. I don't like it. No one said butter and rice. I'm kind of offended, but that's okay because that's disgusting. Next <sighs> question, please. What else did I see? A lot of people were saying peanut butter and jelly is overrated. There you go. You're not the only one. I brought this up to. Uh, to a table of my friends the other day. I was just curious what their thoughts were. Oh, we went to dinner? No, when I went to um, lunch with Billy and Johnny and Jalen. Oh, okay. And I was like, what are your guys' thoughts on peanut butter and jelly? And all three of them were like on board. They were like, that, that's like one of the best sandwich. It is, yeah. And I was like, well, see, you're wrong. And I'm just curious how you feel knowing that you're so wrong. Yeah, I agree. And they were so like, it's such a, it, honestly, if you need an icebreaker, talk about that. Talk about people's it really, thoughts. It really polarizes people. I'm not going to lie. Well, yeah. it really gets conversation flowing. Sure. Not that we had trouble. I was just curious what they were going to say. And then I told them that I started a coup on Twitter. And then we just started talking about food. And like they kept telling I just can't believe that you don't like. You know what I got a lot of hate on is liking Swedish fish. And it kind of pissed me off. I'm not going to lie to you. Well, that's what you get for eating rubber boots for candy. <laughs> That's kind of on you. <laughs> if I ate a croc while I was at the movies, then I people taste like? people would look at me sideways. Also, <laughs> it's not even the taste, really. I mean, although it is bland, <laughs> it's it's the texture. It's like it's truly eating a fucking goya boot, like goya. Said goya. That's that Spanish rice served <laughs> the beans. No, it's uh, what are they called? Goyard or something? They're rubber boots. They're rain boots. <laughs> Someone back me up. Hunter, hunter boots. Not those. I was, there's one called, it's like Goyard or some, some shit like that. Did you make that up? No, I swear to God. It's a boot brand. Are they Bottega boots? <laughs> I don't, this is the first question here for Goyard is, is Goyard for rich people? So <laughs> no, just put like Goy, like put something like rain boots, like G rain boots, something like that. I'm telling you, there's like, I saw something recently with it and I was like, oh, I've seen those boots before. No, there's nothing. Telling you someone, someone backed me up. Just kidding. I lied to you. Wait, but they're, um, they're like designer. What are they called? It's called Goyard. Oh, okay. Well then I was right. Yeah. They're the crisscrossy ones. Is that what you're thinking? I about? don't know. No, look, I'm showing you right now. I'm on the real real. It has this this color. No, it's a rain boot, dude. It's a rain boot. It's not brand. Goyard. It's not Goyard. Um, it's something with a G. Something Go something. <laughs> Whatever. You get my point. <laughs> Swedish fish are trash. That was you the know point. what did pop up when I looked at rain boots. Hunter, you bitch. So I know Hunter boots. I wasn't talking about Hunter boots. I'm talking about a very nothing specific. with a G. It's so like a, it's like a very specific type. Someone back me up, please, for the love of God. Rubberized boots. I just yeah. saw that on here. <laughs> something, something with a G. Rain boot. It's like a hiking slash rain boot. Anyways, that's what you get. That's you get what you pay for when you when you pay for literal Crocs to eat at the movies. Oh, I forgot what we were talking about. Yeah, we're talking about how trash Swedish fish are. So that's what you get. Don't know what you expect. Right. <laughs> Anyways, I think that was it. Okay. As far as like the reactions to our last episode. Yeah. So lots of people for ketchup on rice which i think is gross people will go so hard for their favorite foods and it makes me laugh just to like cause chaos for no apparent reason i agree which is what i did with peanut butter and jelly and i'd do it again (laughs) (laughs) every now and then i go and shake some trees over on twitter (laughs) every now and then i go rattle a cage every now and then 
You're dumb. That's just what I be doing over there. That's my favorite part of Twitter. And yeah. also the my least favorite part about Twitter yeah. is just the unhinged replies. I agree, get, I agree. So it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> the price of being an influencer. <laughs> Whatever. Anywho. Okay. Are you ready to get into these? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get into more of these. We got, like, honestly, a hundred more responses. Nice. I think people were inspired by the last video. I would I would like to think so. So this first one, um, I think you're going to hate. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's hear it. This is from McKenna, and she said, Rice Krispie Treats in the blue wrapper are heinous. They taste like plastic, and they have to be homemade. Homemade? Who has the time? Okay, Lori Ingalls. Like, you're just at home churning your own butter and shit, too, I would assume. Who makes homemade? I'm not being mean. I was just kidding around. What? But who has the time? I was making fun of her. But who has the time? <laughs> who has the time to do that? And you're and you're wrong on yeah, top of that. The blue ones are the best. What's Rice wrong with Krispie you? Treats. I, I went through a hyperfixation recently with Rice Krispie Treats. I bought one with, like, I'm not even joking, like, 250 I'm not even joking. One time she had no groceries. And by one time, I mean... <laughs> So most of the time she doesn't have a lot of groceries. I'd be traveling. And so I asked her, can I have a snack? Do you have any chips or anything? She goes, no, but I have Rice Krispie treats. I'm all, it's 9 a.m. I don't want to eat one of those. She's all, I've already had two. <laughs> Get into it. They're great pre-workout snacks. <laughs> you eat one before you drink your pre-workout. Get into it. Before you drink your pre-workout? Yeah, so you have carbs in your stomach. You're, if you carb carbo load before you drink your pre-workout, Ooh, you this, have a much better workout. This weekend I was hanging out with friends and we were drinking. And Sarah Shower, she was talking about this trend she saw on TikTok where you take um, like a seltzer, like a hard seltzer. Yeah. And you froth it like with a milk frother. Yeah. She was like, it gets rid of all the bubbles. And then. Yeah. She told me that when she was here. And then Sarah Shower. Yeah. When she came over for Coachella. Oh, she was okay. telling me that. She was like, yeah. And then it gets rid of the bubbles and then you're not bloated. And I was like, I know, but then it makes it harder to drink. Yeah. Because that's only, the whole point of the bubbles. It's purely alcohol. She was like, no, it doesn't. And then she did it. She told me, this is really hard. I'm all, pour some of my seltzer in that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's just, I mean, it's true if you don't, if bubbles upset your stomach, which is like, I feel that, but Rice Krispie treats are so fucking fire, bro. Like you're out of your goddamn mind. One thing about me, when I go to the gas station, I'm going to get a hot chip of some kind and a king size Rice Krispie bar. Listen, <laughs> that's what I'm about. <laughs> Wait, and then you you get water, right? Or yeah. And I get like a two liter water. Yeah. I never get soda anymore because I figured like <laughs> balance breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> enough sugar enough sugar yeah, yeah that's me watching my figure <laughs> shut up i eat, I eat a party it's size all, bag it's of, all about balance yeah <laughs> it's all about balance i eat a party size bag of hot chips and a king size rice krispie bar and then, and I then water a water to wash it all down <laughs> but yeah you're out of your goddamn mind i've had homemade rice krispie treats that were good i've never had one that could replace uh, a blue one. No, I would want to eat. Well, unless I got it from like a pastry store and even then like they're good, but like they're not the same. Well, they're also like so expensive. Like I, I remember when I told you I bought a box of 250, <laughs> that box was like 15 bucks. So like, <laughs> and they were all this big. So you have to eat at least four. Dude, I brought them in the bed <laughs> once and, and me and Billy were surrounded by wrappers and I was like, this is so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> we were just eating them non fucking stop because they were the life. they were the mini ones. Listen, when you're an adult, you get to do whatever you want, <laughs> which is eating three hundred rice krispies in one sitting. Yeah, I feel that. I will. I will not knock making homemade rice krispie treats. However, they're not better than the blue ones. That apples and oranges is what I think. Yeah, and also I have yet to have have one that I'd want to write home about. Rice Krispie treats are good. Rice Krispie cereal is disgusting. I agree with that sentiment. What is that? I You're agree eating with that. um that's like packing pop peanuts. Rocks. <laughs> not even it like they packing. pop in your mouth. No, they don't. Snap crackle pop. Duh. It doesn't pop. Oh, it pops in the milk. In the milk, yeah. yeah. Like I mean, I mean, it doesn't pop in your mouth like pop rocks. I was just saying it makes noise. I know, and you're, it's loud. You're spreading rumors about yeah. the the cereal because it's garbage, and I don't care. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell people that it makes you shit yourself. If that's what <laughs> runs it out of Whatever business. Whatever makes it stop. Dude, remember corn pops? Yeah, yeah, I went through a hyperfixation of those. Talk about a packing peanut. Remember honeycombs? <sighs> Yuck! Don't even get me started about honeycombs. Go fuck yourself because honeycombs were so fire. Mm. That little scary monster. That was me as a child. That was, that was the mascot for honeycomb. That was literally me. <laughs> that was literally Ew. me. Um, 
Yeah, that's why when I sent you that little Miss Fica, little yeah. Miss Fica Kala, <laughs> and mine was also this one's me and his little Miss Uva. <laughs> 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 if you know you know mm-hmm. if you're someone you'll know no but, um, always we should do a <laughs> we should do a fucking episode on how bad you were as a kid yeah well drew is always like drew was like well behaved like she would listen to adults like it's not yeah. that but if there are other kids around like yeah she's gonna be in charge and you're gonna have to get in line like that's and just that's, how it works and that's on virgo babe yeah and it's been that way forever. but she wasn't a bully at all like no she was actually really nice i was a bully of bullies though i had yeah. always been that way I have always been mean to mean people. That's yeah. it tracks, but from the moment I could literally formulate thoughts. But uh <laughs> remember when I this is off topic, but not really. Um, did you see my QA when someone's like, What's something that you wish people would ask you? Is that about your AP test scores? <laughs> yeah. Stop yeah. fucking talking and about I that. And I filmed it. No, I was just telling you I filmed it in front of Billy. And yeah. then he was like, Oh my God. <laughs> And he was like, after I no, and then I watched you on a podcast recently, and you said, "I wish people knew that I was really smart and I got AP tests." <laughs> well, no one cares. No one ever asked me. People go, "What's your fun fact?" And then some people are like, "Oh, one time I sat next to Brad Pitt at the airport," and yours is like, "I'm like really smart." That's not what I say. Mine is I got a five on my AP exam and that's not even my fun fact. My fun fact wasn't even about me. When I was in college, I would tell people my dad played in the NFL. Um, Cause I just was not interesting. How about, how about now you don't go? I have seven point six million on TikTok. <laughs> no, even now, now I would say that. Fuck, what would I say? I used to say I was double jointed, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> like I grew out of it. So <laughs> like, so you're a liar. <laughs> so now, like, in case they call me to the carpet, I won't be able to perform in that sense. I should just say the most bizarre thing. That you have like 11 toes or something. Or that I can like river dance. And then they'll ask me to do it. And I'll be like, I can't for personal reasons. Yeah. I just Not on the spot. Know. I got to warm up. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> I, never have a, I never have a fun. My fun fact is I moved to New York for six months and I fucking hated it and moved back. And that's tea, babe. Yeah. I don't have a fun. I mean, my fun fact now would just be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. Just like. I'm so random. Honestly, I'm so quirky and random. I'm so random. You guys can take me anywhere, honestly. <laughs> no, your fun <laughs> fact is that you hate peanut butter and jelly. There you go. Oh, yeah. I guess you could say that now. There's not really anything. Some Sometimes people ask me, like, um, is there anything that people, you know, in interviews for real, they'll ask me, is there anything that people, you wish people would talk about more with you, like, regarding me? I was like, not really. Anyways, back to Rice Krispies. You're wrong. Like the blue sp- ones are good. You're wrong. Yeah. Have you ever had a oh, rice crispy? Have you ever had um those like cereal bars? Yeah, I have. You know the Lucky Charm one? That's good. Is I've that considered had- a rice crispy or no? It's in rice crispy form. Yeah, I would argue. Dude, when I was in college, I would eat one of those, which those are like king size. They don't make them small. This yeah. is all from seven. I have had the Fruit Loop one. That one's pretty good too. And the, I think the fruity pebble one. Yeah. yeah. You haven't had a Lucky Charms one? No. So I would eat a king size one of those and then whatever the mocha cookie, whatever stuff that comes out of the spout at 7 <laughs> Eleven, a large of those. And then listen, if you didn't eat like actual shit in college, yeah. like were you even really living? Were you even going to college? Like I know. some of the shit I used to eat in college now, I look back Dude, and I'm like, okay, this is so gross. So I love potatoes, like any sort of potato, especially in fr- any form. French fries are probably my favorite food in the entire world. That yeah. and chickpeas right there. That's it. Anything potatoes and chickpeas. But life's all about balance. Yeah, and that's what they tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But where I, I went to where at the U of O in Carson Hall, which is still there, they had a buffet style in there. Yeah. I lived in Carson. Every Ooh, Friday, sorry. they would call it Fried Friday. <laughs> 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 and then everything in the buffet was fried. It was the best day of the week. That sounds pretty fun. So like I would go to class till like not till like 10 a.m. on Fridays and then yeah. I'd go eat way too many curly fries and chicken tenders <laughs> and like probably like six diet Pepsis. There I'd you go, go watch Grey's Anatomy by myself in my room and I would sleep the rest of the day because I didn't have any friends. And that's sad. <laughs> and now we've come to the office. Those part. before I started drinking. And that's my stop. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get off here. Um, fried Fridays. I never had anything like that. Although UH's campus food was really fire in me opinion. It may have changed, but when I was sure, going to school sure, there, sure. it was super fire. And they used to have this omelet bar every weekend, every Saturday, Sunday mm-hmm. and Hale Aloha. 
the girls who get it, get it. Even She's when cultured. I, uh, yeah. And Holly Aloha. <laughs> so I would go there and we would walk in and they'd have the omelet bar and like, I would make a salad and an omelet and I'd be hung over and then I'd have a soda and a water and I would only drink the soda. Don't know why I got the water. It's and for, then I, It's all about balance. <laughs> it's all about balance. It's about showing people that I am balanced, even though I'm not. <laughs> And then I would eat both. And you know what so- you should do? Well, you're a little bit better about drinking water now. I'm way better now. But the trick is you drink the water first, get it over with. Then you get to have your soda. I know that now. <laughs> I just never did it in college. Like, that Dude, was like, every time I called Drew when she was in college, yeah. she was always like, oh, sorry, hold on, Dace. So she'd be like, yes, hello. <laughs> She I, makes this joke every time, dude. Everyone I, we've ever met has heard this joke. Can I get a white vanilla bean for First of all, I never fuck with vanilla bean. Don't put some respect on my name. Mocha but, cookie crumble. But everybody knows that's what happens when they send you off to go live by yourself when you're 17. You only know how to eat frappuccinos, bitch. Like, because that's all you know. But like, I didn't start drinking regular coffee till I was probably like 19. Because before that, I never really had coffee. But then- yeah. Um, my roommate at the time, Natasha, she drank coffee like a motherfucker, but she was like, <laughs> she, the way she would drink it, I'd be like, God damn. So she kind of made me want to try it because the way she would drink it, it looked good. Mm-hmm. Um, but they used to have, um, well, I, I'm sure they still have it, but they had like on, on campus eating like towards like by the buildings. And they would have these stations inside where they would make like bento boxes for you. If you wanted to, you could like put like katsu or like seaweed or whatever in there. And it was so fire. And I used to get this like fried chicken and rice all the time with some like greens on the side. With your frappuccino? No, this was just for lunch. Or I would go downstairs and they would have like poke bowls and stuff downstairs. Oh, they're so good. I If I could, honest to God, I might. If UH, if you ever want to invite me to talk, girl, I'm here. But I will. And I would only like to have the finest of dining experiences on campus. I want an unlimited swipe (laughs) meal card. As I say, you would be the one to wait in line to order your omelet. I don't know why. To me, that's one of the most embarrassing things I could ever do to myself. I didn't give a damn. Ham, cheese, green onions. I just could never do it. Uh, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't care at all. And the omelet guys were so mean too. Like they were so mean. Like, you could, okay. Okay. You could tell they went to culinary school to like cook for hungover 19 year olds. Like I'd be fucking pissed too, but they were so mean, but I, I respected it. And they would say shit like, Oh, Hey, okay. Is that it? And I'd be like, no, yeah. That's, and they're like, they're already flipping it over and making it like, and, and then you have to stand there for like 10 minutes and wait. I know it's embarrassing to me. I'm I'd stand there and wait. I'd wait all day for one of those. Anyways, if UH ever invites me, I'm going to go eat on campus. <laughs> That's <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say. Okay. This next one's from Kayla. And okay. she said that she thinks that Girl Scout cookies are trash. Dositos, mm. Thin Mints, Samoas, all of them. Get those dry, flavorless pucks out of my face. <laughs> At that point, I'll just get a family size of chips away, <laughs> which I can access any day of the year instead of having to wait until these little girls decide to set up camp outside of a Walmart on a random summer afternoon. They're overhyped just because they're sold seasonally. Classic McRib move. <laughs> And the McRib, that's so funny. She said, and I was a Girl Scout for like a year, so I can say that. Also, while I'm on the topic of prepackaged cookies, Nutter Butters are better than Oreos. The defense rests. Okay, that you had me until that last statement. There's a lot of things going on. You okay. had me until that Let's last statement. Let's start with the Girl bitch. Scout cookies. Do you think, I think, I don't think they're trash. I think they're good. I think they're all right. I yeah. think they're overhyped. I think, I think genuinely a huge part of why they're so appealing is because in high school you got to eat something else that wasn't school food. You know how like that's where we're all introduced to them is like in high school, like the junior mints. Well, we were. That's what I'm we saying. Were. It might be different. You were calling them junior mints, they're thin mints. Oh, yeah, thin <laughs> mints, whatever. A mint cookie. Those are only good cold. It, honestly, if you put them in the fridge, they taste way better. Um, but now, like, would I go out of my way to order them? No. Would I eat a whole box? Probably. I mean, it's real. I could go either way. Right. I could, I could Same. live without them, but if I have them, I'm not going to not eat them. Yeah. I but I will say no cookie outside of Samoa's. I think they're called something else now. They're not called Samoa's anymore. The, the like the coconut ones, right? Yeah. They're not called Samoa's anymore though. They changed the name. Yeah. I think I'm not going to call it Samoa. I'm going to call it those like, Samoa's. Yeah. They're <laughs> called Samoa's because. Where he says. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why they changed the name, to be honest. I think they're still called that, to be honest. No, they aren't. They're called something else. Watch, look it up. I know because um, Billy's mom used to buy them still when I lived with her. Why did they stop calling them Samoas? <laughs> I think it was a racial racial thing. 
Not that anyone really cares about us, but oh, they're called. I think they're called caramel delights. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, so, told you. Um, but anything outside those two, garbage. Don't I give agree. it to me. I don't want to hear it. Wait, out of which ones? Anything, any Girl Scout cookie yeah. outside of those two, I'm good. I know. Which are the two? Samoas and Junior Mints or <laughs> Stop. Thin Mints. Thin Mints. They're going to cancel you. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I like Tagalongs because there's peanut butter in those ones. Yuck. I'm the good. lemon ones are good too. But. You want to hear something funny is anytime there's Girl Scouts outside of a, of a grocery store and me and Billy are walking in at the same time, he always walks on the side that's not close near to them. them. Yeah. So I have to be the one to be like, no, no. thank you. Yeah. And he, I noticed he started doing that to me, like probably within the first year of us dating. And I was like, why do you do that every time? There's, <laughs> And he goes, well, I just like, don't have it in me to say no. So like, he makes me the bad guy. <laughs> Not interested. Yeah, I just go, oh, no, thank you. I'm like, you don't have to be mean. And he goes, no, I know, but I'll stop and then I'll buy them. And that's why, like, for a while before we would shop together, like, he would always have Girl Scout cookies. And I was like, why do you, are you just, like, a big fan of these? Or he was like, no, I just, every time I walk by, I buy them (laughs) because he feels bad, which I think is sweet. It's not a bad thing. But just sometimes, sometimes I just don't have time to stop and buy them. So we, agree. we, I don't know that they're trash. I just don't think they're everything that they're meant to. Yeah. Meant I'm just like, I, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't die on the cross for that. So on the second part right here, um, I think they're both as equally good as each other. Yeah. I think, I think chips Ahoy are disgusting. Yeah. I, I fuck with that. Yeah. I mean, regular chips Ahoy are better than chewy chips Ahoy. Those ones are fucking trash. It's, those are so Those bad. are literally Play-Doh. When I opened the, the cabinet when I was a kid and those were the only cookies the in there. The red package. I wanted to pick them up and throw them across the room. <laughs> I wanted to pull them all out and mush them into a big ball <laughs> and throw them in the trash. Like, what do you take me for? A fool? Dude, do you remember um, Sandy's cookies? Yeah. The little shortbread ones? Yeah. I, I had a, I have a real problem <laughs> with hyper fixating because some, like I used to go absolutely <laughs> rabid for a Sandy's cookie. <laughs> now, when I think about it, it makes me feel a little ill because I ate too many. Well, Mary, little, we could only eat four. So that's why. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and the way. It's all about balance. The way that I would stuff my cheeks like Bugs Bunny, bro, with them. <laughs> like, I just can't. <laughs> But this is another hyperfixation problem. I went through a real brookie phase. If you haven't had a brookie Oreo, bitch, I'm telling you, they may have discontinued them, honestly. But oh, you bought them from the store. Yeah, You're they not were at Target. Them. Okay. No, they were at Target. So is it the Oreo sandwich cookies and then the brookies the filling? No, the brookies on the outside. So what? it's like so it's like a regular Oreo sandwiched in a brookie. What? Okay. So it's basically cookie, brownie, and Oreo. <laughs> oh, Brookie Smith. What the fuck is a Brookie? <laughs> brookie Brookies are a brownie and a cookie. Okay. And it's it's sandwiched within an Oreo. So it's a brownie and then an Oreo's inside it? Brownie, cookie, Oreo. What cookie? Like a chocolate chip like cookie? Like a chocolate chip cookie. Okay. And an Oreo. It's like, I don't remember the order in which it's laid, but that's essentially the ingredients. I remember you, this was during the pandemic, the yeah. 2020 pandemic. Yeah. But I never ate one because- I was because I'm vegan, but yeah. I didn't. I still don't understand what it looks like. I I can't. I can only give you the ingredients. <laughs> I cannot give you the order. But I just so can you I see? Put, can I, you see the Oreo yeah, inside it? Yeah, yeah. You okay? I put my dad on that shit, and my dad hyperfic. That's where I get that problem from. Yeah, honestly, for like, both of us, yeah. for both of us. But me and him especially are like that. It's like. Brookie Oreos. If they still make them, go fucking get them. They are so good. Oh, I can see them. Okay. Yeah. And, they, and they're called Brookios. Yeah. Uh, and they taste unbelievable. I remember Billy got them once and he goes, these just like looked good. And I brought them home mm-hmm. and I tried one and I was like, Ooh, mama, this is all <laughs> I'm going to eat for the rest <laughs> of the next three months. And I ate them so often and so much that I, one night I got sick and I threw up a bunch of them because that's all I had eaten. <laughs> And I threw up a bunch of them and I could no longer eat them. Anymore. I hate when that happens. Yeah. I, I may re- revisit them. It's been a couple of years. It was maybe. worse when I was little. Now if I yeah. throw up something, cause my anxiety, I could probably eat that again. It yeah. Would, it wouldn't bother me. I threw up because you could probably believe this out, but I threw up because I had that edible and it, it I didn't eat anything. <laughs> I got too high. I ate it. I'm not even, when I tell you I ate a whole pack by myself, I ate three whole sleeves, bro, by myself. And then I was shocked that I got sick and threw up. So that wasn't very balanced of you. Not at all. So you're wrong in the sense that Natter Butters are much better than Oreos. A classic Oreo. I feel like you can't go wrong. 
Yeah. It I gives agree. what it needs to give. It's yeah. not overperforming. It doesn't underperform to me. It's very, you know what you're getting. Are you like a dry Oreo eater? Like, do you use milk? No, I don't use milk. What am it's I? Disgusting. What do I look like? Kevin from Home Alone? That's I don't disgusting. eat fucking, I don't eat fucking no, dry. I need something to lubricate it. <laughs> or I eat that's, it. that's good. That, and that's the only way that blue chips Ahoy are good. If you eat them like that, Ooh, but milk. you got to soak them. Like you got to drench that hoe for it to taste mm, good. Mine's like a good, like half. Nah, you got to like really moisten her up. Once you moisten her up, it doesn't taste like a little brick that you're eating. You know what I mean? A little hockey puck. <laughs> so she's like, get those flavorless <laughs> hockey pucks out of my face. That shit's funny. Okay. This one's from Megan. And okay. they said eating Fuego Takis, which I don't know the difference. Is there a difference? Fuego's the regular ones, I think. The regs. I'm assuming. So like okay. the purple bag, right? Yeah. And dipping them in milk. Whatever milk you use, but I personally use oat milk. It's delicious, and I may be wrong, but let me be wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. So I'm mm. glad you know that. Um, I thought you were going to say, like, in a cheese or something, because I've heard that. Like nacho cheese? Yeah, yeah, like a nacho cheese or something like that. I don't um, know about use dipping them in milk. milk. Do you drink that spicy milk after <laughs> to really wash it down or what? Get all the fuego. You know which Takis are not good? The blue ones. I mean, why would you ever eat a fucking blue chip? I don't know. I watched a, I My mouth is prickling because they're so like sour or spicy. But uh, I watched a fitness dude like absolutely light up Takis once and like specifically the blue ones. And it made because he was just saying how bad they are for you. And I was like, you think I'm eating this? Piece for of, nutrients? You think I'm eating this piece of magma because I think it's going to hit my macros for the day? I don't like, like Takis at all. I don't like Takis at all. I don't. They're Dayton too. doesn't like spicy enough to eat something like they're a They're too hot. Yeah. That, I like hot Cheetos. They like overwhelm her. You can senses. taste the Cheeto part and it's still spicy and good. But hot Cheeto puffs. I'll eat those. Yeah, we're talking. The blue Takis are not good, but I remember him being like, it's blue. No shoot. No food should be blue. I'm all no shit, bitch. Like <laughs> nobody's eating those and going like hit my protein goal for the day. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Drum in my mac macros, micros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why, so you think that's what those people sound like to me. That's what I'm saying. You think what I, does that mean? I'm eating this little piece of magma to hit my macros. If no. you think I'm going to do math before my food, you're wrong. I'm not fucking doing And no, that. no hate to you if you do, but like, no one gives a fuck if you do like, you don't need to tell everyone how much you do it. Like nobody cares, but, uh, <laughs> just like mind, mind your business. If you're going to do it, do it quietly yeah, is all I, I think like you should do most things. A few people did say too, that they were glad you you're bringing attention to the Tapatio uh, Doritos. Oh, cause a lot of them really like it. And they're so underrated. I never see anyone talk about them. And then of course, the minute my brain decides this is what I'm going to hyper fixate on this month. They are sold out everywhere. Damn. Everywhere I go, they're like, no Tapatio's Doritos. And I'm like, why don't you just punch me in the fucking face? How about that? All right. This next one's from Alex. And mm -hmm. she said, peanut butter on hamburgers. It smacks. I'll have no slander. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, go to hell. I'm my, sorry. I'm not even lying to you. My stomach's hurt hurting. <laughs> it hurts so you much know right what's now. so funny? Okay. This is so funny. But literally when I brought up peanut butter and jelly to my friends, mm -hmm. right? One of them goes, have you been to Slater's? And me and Billy yeah. were like, yeah, and it's trash now. It is. Sorry, Slater's, but like you really fell if off. If you're from Orange County, you know Slater's. Slater's is in their flop era. Yeah. But me and Billy went there a couple times when we first started dating. And then we went, the most recent time was probably like three years ago. And it was so terrible. The service was so bad. The food was garbage. I didn't even finish. And I was like, I paid and we just left. Okay. So it was really bad. It's honestly like that restaurant's advertised to be like, like kind of bougie. Yeah, it but is. But to be yeah. honest, it it's tastes, expensive. It's expensive. And it fuck, it tastes like bar food. Yeah. And it's, and honestly, Red Robin is way better oh, and it's cheaper. And Islands too. Yeah. 1, and they have, and they have bottomless fries. So go fuck yourself Slater's. Anyways. Uh, Red Robin, not Islands. Yeah. Well, that's not true. They're not bottomless. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. They used to be. No, they're not. Rip. I know. I love Islands. Oh, that sounds so good right now. Anyways. So he was saying, um, did you ever have their peanut butter and jelly hamburger? And I was like, 
bitch, no. Why? You know what I'd rather do? Lay in the middle of a busy street. And then he was like, no, it was pretty good. I mean, it was all right. And then- You know what that sounds like to me? It what? sounds like like uh, in that episode of SpongeBob where he's putting the jellyfish jelly on all the Krabby Patties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he, he I go, I, I don't like peanut butter and jelly in general. You think I'm going to want it on my meat? You're out of your fucking mind. That sounds nasty. That's like adding fucking bacon to, to donuts. It's that's the, how I feel. Yeah. It's doing too much. But honestly, that's- Meat and peanut butter is worse. Yeah, then then at least like at least with bacon on maple bars, I could like see the vision. I just don't like it. I don't like. <laughs> I don't fuck with the execution. But the other thing that seems ungodly to me <laughs> is like you're living in a godless place if you're putting peanut butter on your fucking meat on your meat on your hamburguesa. You're you're spreading PB on that. That sounds disgusting. I'm not gonna lie to you. That yeah. sounds really fucking My gross. stomach hurts. I wasn't lying. It's like one of those things where they're trying to force being like quirky and different. Yeah. Stop. Put your whole pussy into making a good hamburger. <laughs> Not putting peanut butter on my fucking beef. You know what I'm saying? Like on my bison burger. I want, you know what? It's, you know what would sound really good on this? Skippy's peanut butter. Ooh, crunchy version. Ow. Yeah, literally. I'm sorry, girlie. You're going to have to take that journey alone. And I'm slamming the door behind you once you leave. That hurt my <laughs> stomach. <laughs> okay. This next one is from Chloe. Okay. She put, call me white. And then in parentheses, <laughs> she wrote, I am painfully white. But boiled foods slap. Boiled hot dogs. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. The one, I did throw that up one time when I was little and I could never eat them boiled yeah, ever again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Microwave though. Mm. Just like of all the ways to eat your hot dog. Like you could literally dice it up and put it in a pan. She, put, like, other, she put other stuff though. Are you ready? Oh yeah, yeah She yeah. put boiled pierogies. I don't know. Pierogies aren't, they? are those not an assembly of things? They're not just a single thing, are they? They're all like hot pockets where like everything's yeah. enclosed inside it. Okay, that's what I thought. Maybe look it up. I've seen them before. No, I know, but I'm saying maybe pierogies can also be like oh, a Oh, it's singular. like a dumpling. It says right here, dumpling. Oh. So wouldn't they be steamed? Why would you boil them? I don't know. I don't know. That is not my culture. I don't that's know. That's Italian culture. <laughs> Let me know. My is it? It's not Italian. Pierogies? Yeah. Yes, they are, bro. No, they're not. I'm You're not thinking good. of gyros. <laughs> they're literally Russian. It says right here, you dickhead. <laughs> I'm thinking of cannolis. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> call or Polish. They're Polish in Russian. Call yeah. me not white. <laughs> exactly. Well, I, that is not my culture. That's white culture. Yeah. She said boiled veggies, but please season them. Why don't you steam that? I just don't understand. If you're going to go through all the troubles, either steam it or put it in the microwave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, or grill bake it. it or, or bake it. Yeah. Or grill it. Put it in a fucking pan and put oil. You could put veggies in that. Yeah. That's that's. Girl, you're right. That is you being white. What else is there? She also wrote, uh, she said, it's all good. It's not all good. You're wrong. Uh, she put, quiche is absolutely disgusting and should never be an option. I don't think I've ever eaten that. I think I have had quiche. I didn't love it. Is it, it like an I, egg pie? It's kind of like a, yeah, kind of. It's kind of like a creme brulee, but it's savory. Creme brulees are obviously, I just mean like it's all the chefs are going to be like, you're so fucking wrong. Say, you're mm. so wrong. The person with the shape of it. You know what I mean? It's, it's <laughs> literally like a fucking chicken pot pie, but it's quiche. Like quiche is like, I think it's all egg it and cheese. And spinach. she also put omelets are awful. You got a lot of random. <laughs> random she's all, but I love all other forms of eggs, including you guessed it. Boiled. <laughs> That's the only one you're right about. Boiled eggs are fire. <laughs> Unless it's egg salad. No boiled eggs by themselves. Do are you fire. like egg salad? Yeah, I love egg salad. Me too. But um, egg salad's so bomb, dude. Egg salad is fire, and it reminds me of summer because we used to eat that all the time mm. after we got in the pool or like would go to the water park. Oh, I love egg salad. No boiled eggs. If you if you just boil eggs and then you sprinkle like black pepper on them and dip them in tapatio, mm, 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 mm. also a great pre workout snack. <laughs> Even though that's just protein, you should eat carbs. But Darian said that she thinks that tomato soup is boring. I can fuck with that. Tomato soup, I feel like you need to be in the mood for. You need to be like, this is what I'm going to eat today. That sounds good. It's not something that always hits. You're right. You need to be in the mood for it. People are going to be like, like a rainy day. But yeah. <laughs> or like on its own, like with a grilled cheese. With a grilled cheese. I'm okay. eating tomato soup. Someone told me when I was- As dip. I love yeah. dip. When I was, yeah, Dayson's a big slut for dip and of any kind. When I was- uh uh, slandering PB and J. Someone said, how do you feel about grilled cheese? And I said, mm. I would bust it open for grilled cheese. You know who has really good grilled cheese? Who? Uh, 
Starbucks. It's really? on sourdough bread and it's fucking huge. Damn, really? That's my new breakfast, Sani. Yeah. Damn, you're smart. I might fuck around and Me get that next vegan, time. Me being vegan and then I eat that fucking thing. <laughs> Me being lactose intolerant, I'm still going to eat it. Me lying on the internet. Damn, that sounds... I'm going to fuck around and get that next time. Because sometimes, sometimes that bacon gouda is just not hitting like it used to. It's too small. Yeah, I feel that. I literally eat it like Miss Pac-Man. Oh, and yeah. that's gone. Two bites and it's done. Like Kirby. Well, oh. and I get the impossible one and I tell them not to put cheese on it. And then they always put cheese on it. And then I, I pick the egg out of it. So then it's just... <laughs> Meat and cheese and bread. <laughs> and bread, yeah. Yeah. So it's um, not worth it. Nah, yeah. Damn, that's smart. Just on like that tomato. Toast. That's why I told you the pesto tomato... Like Caprese sandwich. One that you get. Oh, that one's so good from yeah. Starbucks. Ooh. Uh, one of the dining hall or most of the dining halls in or at U of O. Yeah. They, you would get a grilled cheese and you call it a cheesy grilly. It was so embarrassing. Nobody needed to call it that. <laughs> I'm one of those people that if it has a silly name, I'm gonna call it what it is. Yeah. What it really is, literally, or I'm going to point to it and not I mean, say. Can I have one of those? Yeah, I'm going to be like, I'll, I'll take this one. I just like don't have it in me to yeah. say cheesy griller. I don't have it in me. So I'm on me. I'll stand yeah. there and wait 20 minutes for an omelet, but I will not say cheesy griller. <laughs> and that's just simply I'm not, that. Yeah, on that. I'm not that's that's just, I know what I'm about. You know what I mean? This next one's from Georgia. Mm-hmm. And she said that she thinks that people who eat kiwi fruit skin should be thrown in jail. <laughs> who eats those? The people eat them like, like apples. They just eat them whole. I love kiwis. I don't eat the skin. You got to be a cannibal of some kind. You like eating fur? You like having fuzzies in your mouth. As a as a person who has never been near a man's genitals, that's what I assume <laughs> balls feel like. Kiwi skin. Wrong. I don't want that shit in my fucking mouth. They don't, but I can see the vision. I can, <laughs> they don't, but <laughs> you this one's right, Georgia. You're right. They should be thrown in jail. I have who likes to put hair in their mouth? Like you got a fucking problem if you be well, doing that. You, the only thing I hate about kiwis is that they're so messy. Like I have to have like a fucking yeah, eight gallon I, bowl in front dude, of my mouth. There's this, uh, what's, what's the, oh, fuck, what's the vegetable that's like, it's like almost like a flower, artichoke. Right? Yeah. There's a family guy skit where he goes, <laughs> this is as pointless as eating artichoke as an appetizer at a restaurant. What? Artichokes and then are it cuts awesome. to him and he goes like a fried artichoke? No, just regular artichoke. Oh. And he goes, he goes, he ate the whole thing and he goes, I'm still hungry and now I'm soaking wet. <laughs> I go, you remember I got grilled artichokes like, on Father's Day at that restaurant? Yeah. Fried artichoke is fire. Yeah. But remember I got the grilled ones? Yeah. And I don't know why I got two of them. Yeah. 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 And it's like chewing on a piece of gum for six years. Like <laughs> I'm like, like, my mouth hurts and I'm, I'm not, I'm still hungry. That's why he's like, I'm still hungry and I'm soaking. Because <laughs> it's like so moist. That's how kiwis are. And yeah. I, no, kiwis, I got to eat at least, like, if I'm going to sit down and eat them, I have to eat at, le- at least six of them. I'm telling you. Kirby, at least six. Kirby, Yoshi. Oh, 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 my mom's oh, like, what'd you eat for breakfast? And I saw her six kiwis in a bagel. That's what I just don't like kiwi enough to go through all that problem. Like all that trouble. It's kind of how I feel about mangoes. I would much rather have them readily prepared, like already diced. I'd rather spend the extra money to Mm -hmm. get them already diced than to buy them raw. Yeah. Not raw. They're still raw, but like with the skins. Yeah. Cause I just don't want to go through the trouble of having to cut it up and skin it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Although you could eat mango skin, but. It's kind of slimy, so that's why I'm like... Mangoes are so hard to gauge when they're good. Yeah, I feel that. That's why I... If I... I love a fucking mango. Yeah. If I eat mangoes, I like them already, like, in the little... Sliced. Yeah, yeah, sliced. Oh, so good. Yeah. When we've gone Same to Mexico with pineapple, it's like too much... It's, it's too much work. Too much work. It's too much work to get the, the fucking result. I'd rather just... I'd rather you just cut it up for me. I agree. Pay the extra five bucks. <laughs> this one's from... I'm so sorry if I mispronounced it. I think it's Sahira... Okay. And she said, matcha tastes like literal dirt. People seem to only enjoy it when they add a shit ton of syrups. You're not wrong. With matcha. I went through a strong hyperfixation with matcha, especially during yeah. the 2020 pandemic. Yeah. And I got that drink. I've, I don't remember if you guys remember this girl on TikTok. She's like, if you want a drink that tastes like the literal moon, it was like matcha with like- The moon? Yeah. She's just being cringy. It's um, matcha with four pumps of- Chai. Yes. Yeah. It's bomb. I know because I copied you yeah. after you got it. And it is but good. But every time I've gone chorro or diarrhea <laughs> from Starbucks, it's been from matcha. Something about matcha. I like, can't have it. And it doesn't taste that good. It tastes good, but you just got to put so much shit in it to make it taste Honey, good. Honey, yeah. But every girly who makes their own matcha drinks is going to be, like, be like, wait, but you didn't make it good right. Good for you. Listen, I don't want to have to like 
harvest a whole fucking garden in order to make my coffee taste good. Like, it takes too long. I and have I've tried matcha. To make it, I've tried to make it so many times at home. It tastes so shitty. I don't mind matcha. It's just like the is the juice really worth the squeeze <laughs> is really what i'm saying you know what i mean like if i gotta put elbow grease on to make my fucking drink i don't want if it. you want choro go to starbucks and get a venti yeah, ice who matcha needs, who needs a laxative just go get a venti ice matcha chai into a matcha yeah oat milk, oat latte, milk latte and it's just it's gonna empty you like a that'll clear you right who needs an enema that's go I'm drink saying. one of those either that or have a magnesium supplement that that's been fucking up my life lately. <laughs> and I just recently found out that it's been doing that to me. So problem solved. Okay. This next one's from Laura and I'm picking this one. Cause I said, this is one of my favorite foods in the world. Okay. She said that she thinks that chickpeas slash garbanzo beans. It's the same thing. Yeah. Are nasty little balls of paste. A spoonful of soup or anything is ruined by these dry little nuggets of sand. <laughs> I love hummus and I imagine products made with chickpea flour. All right. But I can never get behind eating a chickpea by itself. I I mean, Dayson obviously is a has like a groupie uh, following like yeah. for chickpeas, which is I think chickpeas are good. I think if they're mixed in salads and shit, yeah, they taste fire. they're so good. Also, babe, what kind of chickpeas are you eating? Because chickpeas are slimy. <laughs> you said they're dry. Little nasty balls. of Yeah, she said dry little nuggets. Are you eating them raw? <laughs> are you eating like beans? <laughs> <laughs> Girlie, you gotta soak those first. What you, <laughs> girl, what are you eating? I haven't tried. Everyone tells me that air fried chickpeas are really good. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I mean, fucking love chickpeas. You go chickpeas. ahead and let me know if they're good. Do you know when you would like chickpeas? I put it on my Instagram story. I thought you watched it. But at Trader Joe's, they have I these. I saw them. How much you love the Trader Joe's chickpeas. Yeah, they're seasoned in like an oil. Yeah, I know. You would like those in a in regular salad. <laughs> In a salad, a chickpea hits. Come on. Sorry, babe, you're wrong. They're good in soup too. You're wrong, I agree. Laura. I, there's nothing. I genuinely don't think that chickpeas take anything away from the dish that they're in. I think they only enhance. Are they something that's necessary to the life of a salad? No. But do they add a little bit of fun <laughs> and flavor? Yes. You know what I will say is that since being vegan for two years, which I know I said I eat cheese, whatever, but I yeah. haven't had meat. In two years. Yeah. Um, or eggs. Anyways, um, that it has changed the way I eat things, like how things taste to me. Yeah. So when I eat like fake meat, I go, oh my gosh, this tastes just like the real thing. And to you who still eats meat, you'll be yeah. like, that doesn't taste anything like it. Yeah. So chickpeas to me taste so good, but pre-vegan me would probably not like them. I, lo I love chia ch chickpeas. I love <laughs> chia peas. <laughs> yeah. I love chickpeas and I'm not vegan and never plan on being vegan. So, I mean- I fuck with them, but that's because I love a good veggie. I don't know if that counts as a veggie. It is a vegetable. It's a yeah. legume, no? Yeah, but I don't know if legumes count as vegetables. I'm going to count them. I think legumes are their own <laughs> food group. <laughs> oh, I think. Okay, this last one is from Louisa. And she said that she thinks that smoothies are a waste of time for me because I'd rather just eat a fruit and veggie bowl than have to drink it. Cleaning a blender is too much work when I can just eat solid food and feel more full anyways. You know what? You're not wrong. I will say that again, is the juice worth the squeeze? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Literally in this case, because sometimes it's just not worth it. I don't like doing it in the big blender. Cause that's such a fucking bitch to clean, uh -huh. but I like a little neutral. Yeah. Like those little ones. And then here's the trick. What you have to do is cause you drink it in the cup that yeah. you, you blend it in. You have to rinse it as soon as you're done. Yeah. That's what makes it easier to clean. I can't tell you how many times I've told Billy that yeah. anytime, especially fucking eggs. Every time he makes eggs, I'm like, put fucking put water in this pan because you know, like it crusts or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, Oh my God. Having to wash a pan. That's a not, that's not a nonstick yeah. after putting butter and shit in. Oh my God. It's the bane of my existence. Him burning it in there. And he's like, yeah. I don't know. He never burns food ever. He would get so mad if I said he burned food. He <laughs> never burns food ever, ever, ever. That's one of his biggest pet peeves. That's why when he cooks, he needs me out of the way so that I don't distract him so nothing burns. Wait, well, and on this one, actually. Are you okay. ready? Yeah. This is from Michael, and he said that his hot food take um, is if you eat steak that's bloody, you're wrong. Bloody steak is gross. I agree. Why even, why cook it? No, you're wrong. No. Listen, what's his name? Steven? Michael. <laughs> 
so sorry. I was thinking of She's some- not even smoking anything. No, <laughs> I literally, just- as she was saying it, I was planning what I was going to say. And I don't know why the name Steven stuck in my head. Michael, <laughs> grow up is what I have to say to you. <laughs> because I used to only get well done steak. I used to only eat that because the blood would gross me out. But then I grew up. I don't get it rare. I just get it medium. So it's a little bit of pink throughout. Like, so there's no think- blurred, right? No. Well, sometimes it's a little red on the inside, but my no, dad, red, my, no, I'm talking about blood coming. No, out. I know. I know it's pink in the middle, yeah. but there's no blood squeezing out of That's it. That's what I'm talking about. My dad fucks heavy with a rare meat. I think so does Billy. He loves a rare meat. <laughs> it's, it's a man thing. It's a, it's a manly thing, <laughs> but my dad's bald. So PEMDAS cancels out. Yeah. <laughs> But no, it's, it's, I think it's just more of a taste preference because when it is more pink or whatever, correct me if I'm wrong, all the Gordon Ramsay's in the world, mm-hmm. um, it, there's more flavor to it. So that's, it's the same thing with like yolk. That's why I think the same people who hate yolk hate rare or medium steaks because it's like the, just the thought of it is what's well, scary. Why would I eat something that's not cooked? It is cooked. It's just, it leaves a little bit of juice. Come on, so Michael, that you can, I'm here with you. If you think about it, indigenous people, Native American people, some of them eat raw meat. I know. I watch them on TikTok. All yeah, the time. it's really good for you. I don't care about that. You can't eat that though, unless you were raised eating that, because then you will get sick. So don't do that. But oh, like, really? Yeah, you'll get so fucking ill. But like, the reason why they don't get sick is because they were raised eating like that. So like, it's just something that's like they've grown up with and they're used to, and it's really good. And they can eat it raw because the flavors are all in the blood and shit. So that's. As far as I know, that's my understanding of it. Yeah, I was watching the. Um, the I'm saying like, flavor like profile whale wise. or like caribou and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm no expert in eating raw meat. Obviously. I don't think it was whale. I'm sorry. I think it was a seal. Yeah, they eat. Well, they eat caribou raw. Yeah, so like I've that's seen them do that. I, you know I've seen that on TikTok a lot too. With like the little knife that looks like this. Yeah. So I, if I understand correctly, the more rare it is, the more flavor there is. Mm-hmm. And anyone who loves food and loves cooking of any kind will laugh in your fucking face if you eat well done meat <laughs> every single time. Like, I don't give a rip. They're literally like, oh, do you? <laughs> there used to be a running joke in Billy's family about me because I used to only eat well done meat. And then none of them eat well done meat except me. So I they always say too, like when you eat well done meat, it's like a fucking brick. Because it's there's no juice in it, so there's no there's not as much flavor. I guess agree to disagree on that one, Michael. I think more so than anything, it's a mental thing and a texture thing for people who don't like blood. Because when they think about it, they're thinking I'm eating a raw animal and that's gross, and that is gross to think about. So okay, okay, I found two more funny ones. Are you okay, ready? let's do it. Okay, this one's from Adam, and he said that his hot take is what the fuck is wrong with people who do not eat the crust of their pizza? It's the best part. People who don't eat their crust are weak, and natural selection is coming for them. Did I write that? I think I might have ghostwritten that. Listen. I, so, okay, yeah, go ahead. Waste not, want not is what I think. And Shut also, up. crust is literally to me 75% of the enjoyment of the pizza. No. I'm eaten down to the crust because that's the part <laughs> I look forward to the most. And we've done this since we were kids, but Dason will eat her pizza and put her crust on my plate. She still does that to this day. She's still she's gonna be 30 next year and she still does that to this day. We were eating pizza at our cousin's house <laughs> all over Pride. Before we went to Pride and we were eating pizza and she's just eating it mindlessly talking and she puts the crust on my plate. It's yeah. just like a it's like a reflex of hers. Or Drew picked the meat off her sometimes and give and it give to them me. days yeah. before she stopped eating me yeah but now i eat the meat because i grew up but i used to be a cheese pizza girly can you imagine yeah uh, that's I'm the only so pizza i eat now is cheese pizza i'm yeah. so embarrassed well that's because that's the only pizza you can eat okay so like yeah but with pizza so like regular crust pizza i think the crust is so gross thin crust pizza there's barely any crust so i will eat the crust of that there's no point there's no point at domino's they do pan pizzas Ugh, i'll I eat the, i'll eat the crust of that i hate listen I know the Chicago girlies are going to come from my fucking like deep dish neck, pizza? but I hate deep dish pizza. I think you're wrong for that. And, I'm not going to lie see, to you. And see, people are going to be like, but you love crust. That's not crust. That's not crust. Don't <laughs> sit here. That's a pie. Don't sit here. Yeah, that, that's a fucking cake, babe. <laughs> that's Tris Leches, but it's <laughs> fucking it's milk pizza. in it, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, remember we used to eat pizza with milk as our drink? Yeah, spaghetti too. Yeah. But I think that's a kid thing because you're growing and yeah. you have to eat a, a lot. A lot of people said they had yeah. they had forced to drink milk with their food. Yeah, yeah it's it's I think it's yeah, fish chicks, rice, and green beans. <laughs> that's some milk on the side. Just, <laughs> and that's simply that on, and that's on Grandpa Koa. <laughs> um I think uh 
Deep so dish, I, think, I don't I, like because it's too cakey. I don't, I don't like that shit. The ratios are off. I think that's what you I don't like. You don't like put all the sauce on top of the cheese? No. Yeah. You haven't seen that TikTok where he's like, what kind of pizza is this? Where's the cheese? And the guy's duetting going, it's under the sauce. It's under the sauce. It's under the sauce. I don't. What's the point? It's not pizza. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, we got to go to Chicago and have a slice. Okay. Uh, all the Chicago girls are going to be like, it's because you haven't gone to the right place. Every deep dish pizza I've ever had. I thought I fucking hated. Maybe when I go to Chicago and I visit the and real I try deal. something, maybe I'll change my mind. The land, This is the land of your Listen, people. Don't hold your breath, but maybe I'll, I'm open to being changed, but I doubt it will happen. <laughs> New York pizza is fire yeah. because for some reason they make it the size of the fucking sun. Yeah. And I really enjoy that. The pieces of pizza are this fucking big. There was, what's the one that everybody talks about? And Isn't it Joe's? Oh, uh, dude. When me and Billy went. I think that's where they did like Spider-Man. Like they're like, the, oh the, yeah. The Toby McGuire one, when yeah. me and Billy went to New York for my New York You guys didn't thing. go there though. You got to go there. It's like in Times Square. No, but- I'm a big DoorDash girly. So. No, but you haven't seen, you have to go. That's yeah, for the experience. experience but yeah. I'm saying I had the pizza. Me too. And me and Billy. Which one did you get? I got the white one. I just got pepperoni. I got a white pie. I got, <laughs> I got a classic. And it, and it hit every time we got it like four times when we were there and me and Billy are the kind of people who will get a pizza each. So like that's his pizza. And then I have my pizza, but we both got pepperoni pizzas and we didn't know how big they were. So when they came, we were like, holy fuck, dude. So we both only ate like a quarter of ours and then we just had them and we would eat it for breakfast. Yeah. But it was so good. That's what I did when we went to pizza crust. Ugh. yuck. Pizza crust from Papa John's. Yuck. Bury me with it. Honestly, Yuck. on yeah. death row, I'd be like, give me the crust of a Supreme Papa John's pizza and I'll eat a Supreme Papa John's pizza and I'll put sriracha on the side and I'll dip it. Oh, it's so good. I watched my friend do that in college and I said, this bitch might be on to something. And then I copied her and I've never looked back since. Yuck. Never looked back I don't since. like sriracha. It's so fire. I like it on tofu. I'm not like, I, that's a lie. I, like I told tofu. our uncle that I do that and he tried it and he said it was so good. He just can't get behind the, the spiciness. He said this is too spicy. On pizza? <laughs> yeah. It's so good on Papa John's pizza. Oh my God. Oh my okay. God. This next one's from Lauren and she said that green bananas are so good. I mean, green as in not ripe yet. They're <laughs> firm. And you don't have to worry about soft spots at all. I'm at my happiest while eating a green, not quite ripe banana. What are you insane? I'm not gonna let you. I think I think unripe ripe bananas are so good. I agree with this. I think they're disgusting. I and you know what? Everyone's gonna come for my fucking neck again. What else is new about my food takes? But I'll eat a banana right before it goes bad. That's my favorite time to eat a banana. Like when it's like brown. That's with my the favorite squishy time. spots. Hell yeah, bitch. True. It's sweeter that way. That's why they. That's why you make banana bread like that. Okay, but I'll eat banana bread. But I'm not gonna eat it like it's like eating parts of a brain. I'm not gonna eat that. That's a, again a texture thing, but the taste is better. Do you like Jello? No. A lot of people said they hate Jello on here. Yeah, I'm not hate, gonna lie to you. I hate Jello. There's no. There's no point to Jello. Like it's just <laughs> you're eating sugar in a cube form. I think Jello is mostly just the experience than anything. It's not for the taste. Okay, we'll end on this one, ready? Yeah. This is from Kayla and she said lasagna is the most disgusting thing ever. Damn, I don't know Kayla. if it's the textures or the way it looks, but absolutely not. There's nothing on this earth that would make me want to eat lasagna. Kayla, you are. She's a Gemini. That's why. You're lucky that this is anonymous because they'd be coming for your fucking head. Man. She's a Gemini moon. I can't or sorry. Gemini sun, cancer moon and Virgo rising. Maybe that's why she doesn't like it. I would think a Virgo would like looking at that, though, because it's so organized. I don't care about that when it comes to food. I'm talking taste. <laughs> and lasagna it's hits so every good. time. You're so wrong. You're insane. You're out of your mind. Textures. Maybe you don't like things with there's too much things going on in it. Let me tell you something. Maybe okay? it's too big. Let me tell you something. Billy's mom makes a lasagna every Christmas. It's really good. When I say every Christmas, I mean every fucking Christmas. One bitch. year Lisa's gonna make me one that's vegan. I'm she praying. told me she wanted to try. Praying. So she puts about seven meats inside that bitch. <laughs> she spends all day building it from scratch. And you know what? Every fucking Christmas, I look forward to that lasagna. And it's so, and I don't even really fuck with that much meat, TBH. It doesn't taste in, like too much yeah, meat though. She lasagna, layers it she, so well. She makes, she knows how to make a lasagna, bitch. Let me tell you something. <laughs> so I love lasagna no matter what. That yeah. shit hits every time to me. I agree. 
And she puts hella fucking meat in hers and like all kinds of cheese and shit. And like, it's so funny because every year she gives me a lasagna for my family. So I had to get back home. And then our mom will like give her like whatever, whatever make, it is we make a chili or whatever. My mom makes a mean fucking chili. Her chili is so I'll tell you what. But she always gives me a lasagna to take home. And then last year she gave me two because I told her my dad and my brother literally fight to the death. I like that her lasagna. lasagna that when you cut into it doesn't fall apart. It like oh my god, it put. stays perfectly yeah. like square and the the pieces are so big. It's so fire. Yeah. But um yeah, she oh last year she gave me two lasagnas, like two little minis. Trays, yeah. She's like, that way your dad and brother don't eat all of it before your mom can have some. Because <laughs> my mom was like, I didn't get any I the know. last two years. Dude, tell her to make one with a white sauce. She has in the past, okay. but I don't think she typically does because that's not what the boys want. So who gives a fuck what the boys want? <laughs> if I ask her, she'll she'll try and make you a vegan one. Yeah. A little mini one. I'll try. I'll okay. tell her. There's lots of Beyond Meats, so <sighs> Impossible Meat's better than Beyond Meat. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh yeah. You've told me that before. Lasagna is so incredibly good. And I, I fear that you may just have had bad experiences, but who am I to judge? Cause some even of, the Stouffer's you yeah. throw that bitch in the oven, dude, a fucking, a lasagna that you take out the cardboard box and just slide right in the oven. Come on. It's like you're at a five course meal, <laughs> like a five star restaurant, bitch. It's like I'm in Italy right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Portofino. <laughs> eating a cannoli yeah <laughs> eating a pierogi apparently <laughs> fucking everyone's idiot. gonna get so mad at me You're for so saying that stupid my bad i was thinking cannoli so sue me but cannolis are also good i don't think i've ever had one they're so fire it looks like there's I, eggs in them i went to an italian restaurant my first day in new york when i went for the new york times stuff Ooh, with phil no we took phil to korean barbecue and i felt kind of bad <laughs> But um, no, which I also love. I love Korean barbecue. Oh my God. But no, we went to an Italian restaurant and it was unbelievably good. Like, what was it called? Fuck, I forget. It was called like. Because me and mommy went to one too. Yeah, we didn't go to that one. The one that you went to, we didn't go to. I don't to. remember the name of it. Ours was, it was something so funny. Like it was literally like the Italian restaurant. It was something like super like basic, basic yeah. but it was so good. And we had cannolis too. They were so fire, but look. I had, I had ravioli and everything too. Oh, it was so fire. And Billy, one thing about Billy, if, if it's either calamari or it has truffle in it, he's going to order it. <laughs> <laughs> That dude will fuck up a calamari every day till Sunday. No shit. <laughs> no matter where we go, he fucks up a calamari. Me trying to look up the name of that place I went. Yeah. I'll find out the name of the Italian restaurant I went to, but it was so good. I think <gasps> it's it was called Patsy's Pizzeria. It's across the street from Serendipity, which is super overrated and whack. And everyone that worked there was kind of mean to me. Bummer. But Patsy's in New York. I think it was Street. called I think 60th it was, Street. I'm sorry. I, I forget. No, I'm not even going to That was before I moved guess. back. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to guess because it'll be another pierogi situation for me. No, don't. It was so You've good. You've embarrassed yourself enough of, among all the Italian I'll people. I'll tell you listen. another Italian restaurant, though, that's in San Diego that I was going to gatekeep, but I got it off TikTok, so I don't have a right to gatekeep it. What's it called? But it's called Caesarina, and it's in San Diego. It's like in the San Diego area. Fine. It is so fucking good, dude, but it's so <laughs> small. So you have to like make reservations for it, but it's yeah. pretty easy to do it on like open table or Yelp. Okay. Oh my God, dude, that place, me and Billy would drive all the way there just to eat there. Cause I found it for his birthday one year. We did like a whole San Diego thing and I booked reservations there cause we love to eat and mm -hmm. they like make, they hand make the noodles and shit the morning of every day. So, and they have such good cocktails and. Oh, do they flip the pizzas in there? <laughs> I don't even know if they make pizza. Do they I the, think they do. Do you know that big ass like cheese wheel thing that they put the yeah the boiling hot pasta in? I don't know if they have that, but <laughs> I told. But this is a fun fact. I told my family I want to take them there because they have a whole vegan menu. <gasps> so that's why it's what wonderful. The? It caters to everybody. They have vegan, vegetarian, and regular. I'm trying to get back on my vegan shit, guys. Don't be mean to me. But that that place has all kinds of pastas, all vegan. Dang. I know. So that's why I told them I want to take my sister here. Yeah, they put a shit ton of egg stuff in there. Yeah. Let's go for my B day. I'd love to. It's so fire. Oh my God. I can't say enough about that restaurant. If you ever see this, please sponsor me. I fucking <laughs> love Caesarina, dude. All right, friends, we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Yes. For next week, 
I'm going to post the Google sheet. Mm -hmm. Someone suggested that we should have people send in their favorite things to quote from movies or TV shows. That no one knows. That no one knows. And that we should guess what it's from. Maybe not guess. We'll just discuss it. Just we, tell us. Yeah. Just okay. to, I'd well, no, love I'll put to it know. in there and I'll hide the column yeah. when we're looking at it. Yeah. And then we'll guess. Because we have so many. Yeah. I quote, I made a TikTok about this like way before I blew up, but mm-hmm. I was talking about a lot of them are from the fourth Harry Potter and this we all know that and like a lot of Adam Sandler movies <laughs> yeah and like old 80s movies yeah. like Uncle Buck dude I just watched that yesterday yeah one of my favorite movies don't tell mom the babysitter's dead yeah. the wedding singer which is an Adam Sandler movie but like those movies we quote the fuck out of like all the time. School of Rock. That's why yeah. I, I don't want to talk about it too much now because I'm no, getting excited. No, we'll, we'll but, give you funny ones. But yeah, yeah. look out for that sheet. It'll be posted on our Instagram story and it'll be in the highlights like it always is. Yes. You can listen to the audio version of this and all our other episodes everywhere you can find podcasts and you can watch the video version on our YouTube channel, which it looks like a lot of you are finding. So please go on there so you can see it. It's way funnier that way. In my opinion, you just watched a couple of them. Yeah, I watched them. I always listen to the audios, but I watched the YouTube videos the other day and I was laughing like I wasn't there. (laughs) (laughs) She's really good. They're funny. (laughs) So that's my God complex, but I, it's just fun. It's a lot more fun and enjoyable to watch it. That way. Other than that, we hope you have a great week and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.